Cardi B has opened up about the moment that she and Offset found out about Takeoff's death. I'm Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX and get this. Cardi B appeared on the first episode of the Jason Lee Show podcast, where she recalled the night she and her husband received the tragic news that Takeoff, Offset's cousin and fellow Migos member, had been shot and killed. We were supposed to go to Lala's party in New York, and my daughter threw up all, all over my mm. costume. So me and Offset. So we, Halloween was over. Halloween was over because it was just so much throw up on the costume, and I had nothing to wear. So we just fell asleep, and out of nowhere, like, like, Offset phone kept ringing. My phone kept ringing, and like, I Offset picked up the phone, and he's just like, no, and he's screaming and screaming, and like he's screaming like, no, 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 and I'm like, what, what's going on? And he's like, take off his dead, and I'm like, and I smacked, and I said, don't say that. Like, don't say that. And then he just, like, screaming and just throwing things, throwing up, running all over. And I was just, I was so scared. Like, I was, I was just crying so much. It was just, it was terrible. Takeoff was fatally shot outside of a Houston, Texas bowling alley on November 1st, 2022. Police believe the 28-year-old rapper was an innocent bystander to a dice game involving Quavo and other men when an argument over the game escalated and shots were fired. His autopsy later revealed that Takeoff was struck by stray bullets in the head and torso, and he was pronounced dead at the scene. A 33-year-old man named Patrick Clark, known in Houston as DJ Pat, has been charged with Takeoff's murder. Police linked him to the crime by surveillance footage showing him firing a gun, as well as a wine bottle left at the scene containing his fingerprints. Investigators also had to recreate the crime scene to confirm any ballistic evidence. Homicide Division Sergeant Michael Burrow said, Through that, we were able to deduce that Patrick Clark is the lethal shooter in the case. That's why he's charged with murder. Clark has maintained his innocence and was released from jail after posting a $1 million bond. And he's due back in court in March. So what are your thoughts on the conversation Cardi B and Jason Lee had on his podcast? Let us know in the comment section, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and stay locked in to Hip Hop DX.